Hi there, my name is Adam Twycross. I'm a senior lecturer in games art here at Anglia Ruskin University. And I'm here today just to tell you a little bit about how to prepare a portfolio for one of our courses. So I think the first thing to bear in mind when putting together a portfolio for us is really uh, don't be afraid to show your work, right? We all like different things, we all produce different things artistically. Um, and it can be quite difficult to show people that work and to really have the confidence uh, to do so. So as, as best you can, don't try to uh, worry about what we might think. Don't try to prejudge what it is that we're looking for. Just go with the stuff that really indicates the things that you're passionate about and the things you're interested in. And then my second top tip would be, um, again, leading on from that about not prejudging what we want. Bear in mind that we don't necessarily um, need to see 3D work, right? So we are a 3D uh, game art course and we'll be teaching you all of that stuff from scratch. We'll teach you Maya, we'll teach you ZBrush, we'll, we'll teach you all of the game engines and the texturing. Uh, so it's great if you've got that stuff already, maybe you've learned some Blender at home or you've learned some of these things, that's great. But equally, if you haven't done, that's absolutely valid too, right? Portfolios can be anything. Um, they can be life drawing, they can be sketches, um, sculpting, drawing and painting, photography, really any of the visual disciplines will be a perfectly relevant portfolio and will be able to tell us an awful lot about the kind of things that you're interested in and the kind of things that you're passionate about. We're also really interested in seeing and trying to identify how you break down a project, how you break down a creative challenge. So as well as some of the final pieces of art, it's really good if we can document how you've gone through the process, um, the kind of challenges you were giving yourself and how you overcame those. So we can give uh, or get a bit of a sense about how you approach the work and the way you thought about it creatively. And then beyond that, uh, just some, some really um, bread and butter things. How many pieces? Well, really that's up to you and how many pieces you feel you need to really articulate all the things that you're interested in. But I'd say somewhere around sort of 10 or 15 pieces would be really good. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. Um, and uh, bear in mind, this is going to be a digital portfolio. So try to keep the submission size down a little bit if you can. Uh, so I hope that was useful. Always feel free to reach out to us uh, and contact us directly if you've got any questions. I really look forward to seeing your work.